Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sahula Sand Safari, where our very busy, very expansive Sahula Sands Vast Horizon is now overflowing with animals! With the addition of some new baby elephants that have been born, quite a few giraffes, and more than a couple buffalo, we actually find ourselves a little bit crowded over here. So I think today is going to be all about expanding the Vast Horizon so that this number of amazing animals that can continue to grow and they'll have plenty of room to roam and it's also going to be oh look at this i love seeing so many giraffes and it's also going to be about trying to check in on our big cat breeding projects to see if any of the big cats are ready to be released to the wild and give us those precious conservation credit points that we actually need in order to carry on with the current challenge, which is all about, I know it's around here somewhere. I have my little challenge board. It's over here. It's right over here. The, there we go. The comprehensive conservation challenge where we need to release as many of the African Buffalo, the zebra, the jaguars and the bongo, which we currently don't have just yet, as possible in order to try to complete the challenge before the time runs out. And I'm actually really excited now that we've realized we don't just have to breed these guys, we can also use the science strength of Suhula Sands to go ahead and just adopt, uh, like, or to go ahead and go to the animal market and trade conservation credit points for animals we can get from the market. And the way we're doing that is getting tons of conservation credit points from the big cats, like our cheetahs, who we actually have not named. Lily went ahead and she has had another litter of babies. Let's see, and we actually have some of her children, Penny, Shaded, and Audrey, actually in the Trade Center right now. But Lily, our beautiful spotless cheetah who is now 10 years old over here, has been having a lot of cheetah cubs. She can live to 14 and she's got really good health about her. So I think, yeah, her longevity is really high. So I think we probably have at least one more litter with her before uh, her time might be drawing a little bit to a close. And when her babies grow up, they actually get released to the wild for several hundred conservation credits, which we can then use going to the Animal Trade Center and looking for, we already have all the lionesses we need looking for those African buffalo, those American bison, the bongo, looking for, let's see, the bongo, the jaguars, and the plain zebra. Those are the ones we need to find of either gender. Either's fine. There we go. All right, filter. And so we use those conservation credits to look for some of the cheapest ones available, like this jaguar for 300. That would be like exchanging one cheetah for one jaguar, then we go ahead and release them, and we get closer on our goal. Also, a dangerous animal has escaped again? All right, we will work on these African wild dogs soon. There's just always so much going on. All right, African buffalo. Oh, Willow's about to mature! Our jaguars are about to mature, you guys! Oh heck, this is so exciting! So Princess Willow is now three years old! I can't believe so much time has passed! Oh, look at how cute she is! Oh my gosh, that is just so adorable. I, I feel like all of the wildlife photographers who would come on tours at our zoo would be freaking out right now. Oh, just like that she's gone. Dashing through the grasses so quickly. So that means that little Willow and Prince Punk are about to grow up and we'll go ahead and release those two to the wild and that will get us a little bit further on the challenge. It'll also get us conservation credits we can trade and it will leave Princess Ruby and her mate Seven with the ability to have new cubs because the babies will be out of the way and off into the wilds, not here in Africa. They will hopefully be released to their proper continent of South America. There you go, guys. Oh, I love how they climb this little rock. Oh, Prince Punk is being adorable too. All right, but these two need to go ahead and grow up and then we'll be able to release them. So we'll focus on that first. And I also need, while we're waiting for that, I forgot to add in, we put a whole bunch of dun dun dun, vending machines down around here. And I forgot to actually put them in to be taken care of. There we go. So now hopefully someone will repair those. There we go! Come on, Willow! Oh, 
gosh, she's so fast. I didn't even see her over here. So she and her brother are about ready to grow up. That is so awesome. And did you guys know, for a cool animal fact about jaguars while we're here, that the word jaguar actually comes from a Native American word that means to kill in one jump, something along those lines, or like one leap. And I just think that's very apt for a creature that will spend a lot of its time stalking from the shadows, using, using that beautiful dappled coat to help them hide before they go out on the hunt. <gasps> and Lee, the West African lion, is about to have offspring. I didn't even realize she was pregnant. Holy cow. Also, we need to release the jaguars right away or else they're going to start fighting. So Princess Punk, there we go. And Princess Willow, we're going to go ahead and release both of them. That was about a thousand odd conservation credit points. So then we're going to say our researchers in the lab have been able to make a breakthrough. Fingers crossed we'll find a lot of them. <gasps> yes, a breakthrough on one. So now we have like 900 points left. Two. All right, all right. We've got still quite a bit. Uh, okay, that's uh, we'll, we'll get down to like 10,000 conservation credit points and then we'll say that like staying around 10,000 is our goal. Also, we need to take off West African lions. We do not need to look for West African lions. There we go. All right, so now we have got a bongo we can release. There we go. Thank you, Animal Market, for hopefully making this a little easier on us. And then we've got a jaguar. So we have research done on this jaguar. Hey, we actually got like back some animal trade points from that. And another jaguar we can go ahead and release, an infertile male. And there we go. And that puts us three animals ahead. And then we'll release this jaguar as well. Hey, and now we have like 800 points left. I want to keep like a... a safety stock of about 10,000 points. So can I, can we grab anybody else for like 800? Cause that would mean that a lot of Jaguar research went in. We can get this guy. And then we're just a little short of the next one. That's not bad. That's a whole bunch of animals that when we're, we're not cheating when we take them off of the trade market, in my opinion, it feels more like Wow, you can get really far. We're back to 700. It feels like we're collaborating with other, like, other zoos and conservation groups. And as a result, man, as a result, we're able to make more progress all together. All right, now we still have 400. Is there an animal on the trade market available for 400? Let's find out. No. All right. So with all of that that we just did, just because of the conservation points we were able to get from the two jaguars, we're out now up to 14 releases. That is so much better. We're still like nowhere close to being able to get to the gold level, which is where I want to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going this way. We're one away from being able to get to the gold level. Sweet. All right. And we now have 250 more conservation credits, apparently. <laughs> Which apparently didn't show up, but Silky's about to have offspring too. Holy moly. Oh, and apparently I just unlocked the Steam Achievement Circle of Life. I'm not exactly sure how we managed that, but I'm pretty happy about it. So we apparently have a bunch of lion cubs, so the lion research is really going to be helping us. And we've got other lion cubs in here too. I am not even going to get a chance to take care of our buffalo herd just yet, am I? And Leah, oh, she's had her babies. Here we go, you guys. Time to game some of you based on the comments in our previous videos after the new moon pride of lions. We have a little boy playing with his mother over here who we're gonna name Bra after Bra moment, which really cracks me up. So Bra moment, welcome, welcome. And then let's see where the other cubs are. Over here, Paige is getting ready to give birth any minute now. Let me find the other babies. I think people are really excited about this. Yes, and there is another little baby down here. A beautiful gold level male who we're going to go ahead and name Kaz after Jen Kaz. There we go. And everyone's settling in. Feasting around the kill here, actually. That's another great shot for our wildlife photographers amongst the guests. All right. 
And then let's look at these baby lions and see if we actually have a chance. Paige, you ready yet? No, she's hungry. She's like ready to settle in and get something to eat before she gives birth to these babies. West African lions are critically endangered and for their reproduction, in a lion pride, the alpha male of the group mates with the mature females who will be pregnant for 3.5 months and usually have a litter of two to three cubs. One of the things I find really fascinating about lions too is that they usually only ever have a maximum of four cubs like unless something went genetically weird that's the maximum that they have is four and the reason for that is because they only have four nipples so they only have like four spots they could nurse their children on and that's really really important for them to be able to be able to provide that food to their babies but I just found that so interesting. It, it kind of reminds me of like kangaroos can only have like one baby at a time in that pouch to really like get them to maturity. Or Tasmanian devils will have multiple, like I think a dozen or two dozen little babies when they give birth, but only the four who make it to the different pouches and the different nipples will actually be able to mature. So they, they have like a hard cap of how many offspring they can have at a time. For humans, usually that cap comes because of like the size of the pelvis on a woman can only have so many children go through there at once and you can only support so many children in utero at once. But I just find those kinds of things interesting to think about too. With chickens, you could probably have like a lot more eggs. You can even put other eggs from other animals and other chickens under a chicken and she can hatch lots and lots of them at once. But when it comes to lions or other animals that have a much more demanding taxing time of taking care of their offspring it's just interesting to see how biology itself the structure of the animal will control how many offspring they can have and how closely related it is to how the those offspring need or don't need support after they are born or hatched in the case of a chicken Paige, I'm, I'm giving this great little speech waiting for you to go ahead and have your baby. Those deep low calls calling out to her siblings, perhaps. Are you ready? <gasps> Finally, did you want a little privacy behind this bush? <gasps> Here we go, you guys. A little girl who was immediately off to play with her cousins and she's going to be Andrea. Andrea, welcome, welcome. You and your brother over here, who's going to be named, let's see, Let after Violet. We'll go ahead and have little Let here. But we've got you two in as well. Oh, this is so exciting. And Adana, the West African, or excuse me, the African elephant is about to mature, which is why everyone's going hungry in the vast horizons. Okay, that is actually what we're going to work on now that we've had all of these lions born and now that we've been very busy with the big cats is we're going to work on taking care of the problems that the different animals are having in the vast horizons. For Cassin, that seems to- where are you going? You, you amazing buffalo you! That seems to be feeling a little overcrowded where there's people. So I don't really want to try this out. I want to try moving some of the animals over here and putting in- Let's, let's see if we can bring the buffalo over here. If we can make this kind of like an awesome buffalo area, because there's plenty of room for Vast Horizons to expand on this side. And they'd have a lot more privacy except for the occasional Jeep that comes on through. So what makes the perfect buffalo habitat? Let's find out. Let's see, species. And we want the African buffalo. Okay, so they like mud baths. I'm totally behind that. We can get some mud baths over here. Let's give them maybe some bedding to encourage hanging out under this spot. And then, let's see, a rubbing pillar back here. So we can definitely get a rubbing pillar going. And they would be thirsty. Do we have a water? So I could put in a little pond over here. Okay, let's do that. Oh, let's actually do like a tiny little waterfall right over here. It'd be perfect. And we'll see if we can get a little buffalo bayou or like, I guess a, a buffalo valley meadow. Buffalo meadow sounds best. A little buffalo meadow going. 
All right. Maybe if I put in enough of the things to tempt a buffalo, they will be happy here. All right, that water should get cleaned soon. And next up, we need a little splash of a waterfall, because why not? They're beautiful. All right. A little cliff for a waterfall right here. We'll snuggle it on in. And then we'll go ahead and cover it up with some rocks. There we go, that's not bad. I actually kind of like that, that's cool. All right, and then we'll tilt this back a little. Maybe a little more. Awesome. All right. Excellent, excellent. Can I get some more rocks hiding this? Huh. It's always interesting to like work. I know this sounds weird, but I love working with the, the rocks in Planet Zoo just because you never quite know what you're going to get. And you can spin them and twist them and get such interesting designs. <gasps> A giraffe tree on top. Oh, does it fit? Probably not. I would really be pushing it to put a giraffe tree up here. Yeah, that would be that would be a little silly, I think. But maybe it's only silly because I haven't had enough rocks yet. Okay, and we've already got an ostrich back here to check out what's going on. And actually, we do have a lot of giraffes that have been born, and I haven't been giving them, like, proper names. So let's see. Joyful, I know you've had, like, a ton of babies recently, and you're really hungry, so I'll work on that. Whoops, Joyful, where'd you go? So, Joyful, do you have... So you have Joyful the fifth. Joyful the fifth, have you had any children? You do. And you have Zahara and Empathy. So Zahara could use a new name. Where is she? There she is. So Zahara, your mom was Joyful the fourth. So you are actually supposed to be Joyful the fifth. There we go. And you're about to have your first child soon. Yay! All right. So let's continue on with our attempts at getting a great buffalo area. We'll also release this male draft. We'll need to go through all of the drafts and any of who are not gold quality. Gently remove. Oh, look at the the elephant's so happy back here. And Kasten's actually really happy. Yeah, Kasten, the African buffalo, is actually really happy just to chill back here out of sight, out of mind from everything. So I think this will work out really well for us. Yay, friends, we're going to be able to make them happier. All right, then we'll check in in just a second on all of the... There we go, maybe some of these rocks. Then we'll check in in just a second on how... On how the big cats are doing. And I, we might have some zebras that we can potentially release too. And I think we need to hire like a bunch more zookeepers and have a couple more zookeeper food stations because the number of animals has just like exponentially gone through the roof and probably that's like half our problem is there's just not enough food being made for everybody right now. Oh look they're happy to come back here. I didn't realize that they would enjoy this area so much. I should have spruced it up before. All right. We'll get these in here. And then we'll come down and get this in here. Excellent, excellent. Even my giraffes are coming down to get a drink. See, this is why I love just following through on the challenges that the Vast Horizons has whenever we try to take on one of these new challenges. The elephants are ridiculously happy. <laughs> So I think we do need to go ahead and turn a few of these trees into the scratching trees and the food trees, which we have. This one is a food tree. I just need to grab all of it. And we can put a couple of them back here. There's one. Is there a food tree back here? There's another food tree back here that's totally empty. Hopefully we can feed it or like fill it up soon too. All right, honeydew, where are you, my dear? Why are you stressed? Is it all the people, honeydew? I think you somehow got into an area you weren't supposed to, my dear. So we'll move you over here. And the vast horizons is now too small. So I guess we do need to add some vastness to the vast horizons. Let me check on... Wow, a lot of the animals are fine back here now. 
I had no idea everybody would just be like living it up and having a party. Here, you want more mud? I guess we'll just like make this a gigantic mud flat. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a big meadow. But it appears that the animals have a slightly different idea in mind of what they want back here. All right. I can go ahead and make this kind of a muddy meadow. I don't mind. Yay, and Amara, the African buffalo, is about to have even more offspring. All right, so I think what we really need now is to see if we can actually physically expand how big the vast horizon is. And let me check. Darren and his family are finally having a lot of babies here. So where is Darren? We have two stallions. So Darren's not really high quality stallion. However, he's not related to a lot of the females. City is over here. De Beer is a really high quality stallion. I think De Beer and Darren, we might let them start butting heads a little bit. And let's see if we can expand the vast horizons. How much space? Let's see, space. Space is now at 75. So we're gonna try combining these two these two areas. Hmm. Actually, let's have the vast horizons expand this direction next. All right, that might that might help out. Also, what Princess Ruby, you're already having more babies? Holy cow! So our jaguar research, our big cat research, is definitely funding a lot of the other stuff that we're working on right now. Amira has now had more offspring. How are all of our lilies doing well? How much longer until these cheetah cubs grow up? Because they are definitely very helpful. I think they grow up at three? They grow up at two! The cheetah cubs are almost ready to go! Holy moly! And the zebras are having more babies. Okay, Vast Horizons needs to become a lot more vast. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, but I'm really, really, really happy that we have seen firsthand how using the conservation credits to work in collaboration with other zoos ends up having amazingly cool results. And I'm really sad that Limber, the wild dog, died. We're going to have to work on the wild dog population soon. But I really like the awesome results that we ended up having. Here we go. I'm trying to retriangulate where Vast Horizons is now. What is going on? And I think that this is a sign that we need to, we need to make this place a little less crowded. <laughs> and we need to start expanding out in a new direction back here, friends. A very muddy new direction. <laughs> but alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this unexpectedly dramatic adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for the expansion of the Vast Horizons. The giraffes are just all over the place. We really need to sort through them pretty soon. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, city no fighting. We will release you. <laughs> stay curious, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.